Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mayank and I'm a current student at HEC Paris, just about to begin my M2 year. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about my HEC Paris gap year. What I did, how I look for internships, and what advice I have to you if you're gonna take a gap year or if you're considering taking one, whether at HEC or at any other school. All right, so in the first section, I'm gonna tell you exactly what I did in my gap year, the two internships I did in Los Angeles as well as Paris. And in the section after this one, I'm gonna talk a bit more about how I found these internships and the advice that I have to give you. In June of last year, I flew out from Paris to LA to start a six month long internship in digital marketing at a startup called Gigster, which operates in the film locations industry. In a nutshell, Gigster is basically like an Airbnb-like platform, but for film locations. It helps filmmakers and producers and photographers find locations to shoot at, and it allows property owners to list their properties on the platform to earn some extra money. At Gigster, since it was a really small team, I was wearing many hats. I was creating content in the form of emails and blogs. I hired and managed freelancers. I helped with customer success, so I was chatting and talking with customers on a daily basis and solving their problems. And every now and then, my manager and I would visit one of our properties to go shoot videos or go take some photos. And that was super, super fun. The cool thing about Gigster, Aside from the team and the fact that I could basically wear beach clothes to work every single day was that it was an environment of experimentation. And as long as you could justify your reasons for wanting to do something, you were pretty much allowed to do it. Like this YouTube video, for example, that I made with my manager of one of our properties. Honestly, the time that I spent in LA was probably one of the most developmental and formative periods of time that I've had in a very, very long time. Personally, as well as professionally, but especially personally. I worked in LA for five months and I spent the last one month of my internship working remotely from India. Since unfortunately, it was the end of my stay there, I had some trouble with housing and I just preferred to go back instead of searching for another place to stay just for one month. But yeah, let me know in the comments below if you're interested in a series of videos about my experiences in Los Angeles, professionally, personally, just generally my life there. I, I think I have a lot of stories to share from my time there. The next internship of my gap year was in Paris. I started my second internship in January 2020, just about eight months back. And this was again a digital marketing slash consumer engagement internship at Mac Cosmetics. Another super cool company that you probably would have already heard of. This was an incredibly interesting experience because I'd never worked for a beauty company before. And definitely not a company where I was pretty much the only guy in the entire team. A lot of my tasks were about CRM and email marketing, but I also helped out with paid media and social media tasks as well. What made it even more interesting was that two months after I began my internship, we were all made to work from home. Initially, I was pretty bummed out thinking that this would impact my internship experience a lot. But it turned out that my team started doing even more to compensate for us not meeting face to face in the office. And we did a lot of catch ups and every Thursday evening we had an app hero where I played guitar for my team, which was like, yeah, it was a really fun experience. But even work-wise, I never felt like I was missing out on any opportunities because of the work from home situation. In fact, I think that I got even more opportunities due to that because it just opened up a lot more avenues to learn. This was also the first time that I was working for a big corporate because previously I'd only worked for smaller companies and startups. And overall, it was a great experience and I learned a lot. After finishing my internship in early July, I had earlier planned to go to New York for two weeks to travel around a bit and visit a friend and then go back to India and Manipal and go back to all these places that I really wanted to go. But of course, because of the current situation, all those plans had to be shelved. So I've been in Paris for the last month and a half and I've been spending my summer here. I'm pretty much fun employed is what I like to call it. And yeah, it's been a great time. And two weeks later, I'm going to be going back to HEC. So I'm trying to make the most of it right now. So you heard about what I did in the gap year and the internships that I did, but the big question that you guys must all be wondering is how did I find these internships? Unfortunately, there's no simple answer to this because everyone's experiences can be really different and there's multiple ways of finding internships. But I can tell you what my experience was and what I know from others' experiences around me. Let's first talk about my internship in Los Angeles at Gigster. To be honest, I wasn't specifically looking for an internship in the US. The opportunity kind of fell into my lap through the HEC Paris email network. Another HEC Paris student who was really keen on doing an internship in Los Angeles had found the CEO of Gigster on LinkedIn and sent a message to him and basically pitched herself and got herself an internship at his company as the CEO's right hand. After they hired her, they realized that it would be really cool for them to hire another intern from HEC, but for marketing instead. And so they asked her to send an email to the entire mailing list of HEC, putting out this job offer with the description of the role. The internship was starting in June and they required someone with a tech and startup background, as well as some filmmaking or production experience. And then there was me. 
a computer science major with experience working in marketing at a tech startup, as well as an active YouTube channel with more than 80 videos at that time, and experience working as a freelance video producer for an ad agency in Manipal. I think it was a match made in heaven. I definitely got really, really lucky. I had one interview with the marketing manager there, and he really liked what he heard. A few days after the interview, while I was actually playing Grand Theft Auto V, which is based in Los Angeles, I got an email from the CEO offering me the position. The next step after that was applying for the J1 visa and actually flying out to Los Angeles and starting the internship. Now let's talk about how I got my second internship at MAC Cosmetics in Paris. After a relaxing summer spent in Los Angeles, in the month of September was when I started applying for positions starting January. I remember there was a span of two weeks when multiple times a week I would go to the same coffee shop, order the same coffee, and sit in the same place and research and apply for positions. I came across the consumer engagement slash digital marketing internship at Mac Cosmetics on the HEC Paris job teaser, which is HEC's internal job board. And I applied for it and, and after a process of recruitment, I got the offer. Being in Los Angeles, which is nine hours behind Paris time, and applying for positions in Paris was a really, really, really challenging situation. Only due to the time zone difference. I used to give interviews as early as 7 o'clock in the morning and many times I'd wake up in the morning to two or three missed calls from recruiters in the middle of the night and I was unable to call them back and that was extremely, extremely frustrating. But eventually I made it to Mac and I couldn't have been happier with it. Alright, let's talk about some of the key learnings I got from this entire gap year internship hunting experience. One, there are multiple places to look for internship. There's the HEC Paris job teaser, that's the internal job board. There's LinkedIn, there's going to the websites of the company and applying directly, networking at career fairs on and off campus and just reaching out to people and trying to create positions for yourself. There's multiple ways that you can do it. Number two, what I found was that getting the first internship was the hardest thing to do. I remember feeling so lost, not very confident at all, kind of actually very confused and very anxious. I remember applying to so many positions and not hearing back, which was super frustrating. I remember giving interviews and then getting ghosted afterwards, which is really, really disconcerting. It was overall a very frustrating experience getting the first internship. But remember, it just takes one successful application to make the entire thing worth it. And that brings me to number three. Getting the second internship was actually much, much easier. Firstly, you already have one Western internship experience and I think recruiters here value Western experience a lot more. So unless you've had experience at an internship or a job at a really big brand back home, it is not gonna be as valued over here as it would be back home. That, that was just my experience, I could be wrong. And secondly, I think when you're applying for your second internship, you have a much better idea of what you want. And you're also a lot more confident when you give interviews. And I think this just comes across really positively in your applications and interviews. The fourth key learning is that if you're looking for positions in France and you don't speak French at all or at a very, very basic level, be prepared for it to be very hard. Especially if you're interested in marketing or consulting, which are very client-facing, language-dependent roles. Fluency in French is a really big requirement at most positions. So then your job of finding an internship becomes harder because you have to research and find those positions which are okay with you speaking English. And those positions are far fewer compared to the number of positions which want you to speak French. And the fifth and final key learning is don't be afraid to reach out to people on LinkedIn or even just otherwise. My colleague at HEC did exactly that and she made her own position at Gigster in LA. She reached out to people on LinkedIn, specifically HEC alumni who are in Los Angeles, and she pitched herself to them. Oh, and one bonus key learning is something that my mentor back in Manipal, my boss at the ad agency I work for in Manipal had told me and it's stuck with me ever since. Luck is when opportunity meets preparation. An opportunity really means nothing if you're not adequately prepared. And any amount of preparation is of no use unless you get an opportunity to make use of that preparation. So when you're adequately prepared and you get an opportunity to use that preparation, that's when you call it being lucky. And in that sense, I definitely got lucky when it came to Gigster as well as the second internship. And you can get lucky too. All right, this brings us to the end of the video. If you guys wanna see what my life in Paris and in Europe looks like right now, if you wanna see my travel pictures or what my life looked like when I was in LA last year, go follow me on Instagram. I like to do a lot of photography and I post it all there. Also, as always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and consider hitting that subscribe button because I'm gonna be uploading a lot more content just like this. In just two weeks, I'll be moving back to campus and I definitely plan to continue this YouTube channel during my second year at HEC. You can also click on either of these two videos and I think they might help you out as well. All right, see you guys in the next one.